The price of Bitcoin today is still attempting to break through $23,000. The current price, $22,962. However, the entire market could shift upwards overnight. There is a decent possibility that within the next 12 hours, so if it was going to be at any particular time, I would say that basically one o'clock in the morning, UK time is typically a time on which Bitcoin breaks out because of the Chinese markets. If the Chinese markets are buying up Bitcoin, they tend to do it at midnight and onwards. So you may actually wake up tomorrow morning to a pump on the price of Bitcoin. At the same time, we need to consider the downside and where that possibly could sit right now. So that's one of the things we are going to do in today's video. Of course, we're going to be checking in on the price of TAP. We're going to be looking at the price of Ethereum, seeing how we expect the markets to perform over the next 24, 48 hour period. I'm going to show you my current open trades, of which there are many, and there are two new ones today. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Of course, if you are interested in what's to come, slap a like on today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Let's try and hit 700 likes on this video. We hit 600 yesterday, so let's try and get 700, 700 likes on this video. Slap a like on it. Trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel before the end of this year. So make sure you are subscribed, especially if you are new and let's crack straight on with it. So looking at the current price of Bitcoin, you'll see a bunch of lines on my screen right now. I left this line here to kind of show you that potentially we were previously in a bull pennant. We've broken to the upside of that bull pennant. And now this line is completely invalid and really means a whole lot of nothing. So let's delete it. Next thing would be currently Bitcoin is in this bull flag. We've got a stalk to the upside and trading sideways. That is a bull flag formation. And looking at how Bitcoin is currently performing, you can see earlier today we touched the bottom of the VWAP, then we bounced to the upside. We just hit the top of the VWAP. So it's likely that we'll return to the control line in the middle right here. But again, we're in a narrowing range right now. And I find that quite exciting. If we were to open up the Bollinger Bands, which I don't have open on my indicators right now, but I will show that in a future video. But if I was to open up the Bollinger Bands, I would be willing to bet that those Bollinger Bands have narrowed very significantly over the course of the past 24-hour period and that a breakout is expected within the next 24 hours. That's certainly what the VWAP is suggesting right now. And the VWAP is suggesting a break to the upside, having touched the bottom several times here of the green part of the VWAP. Ultimately, that's bullish. At the same time, you must understand that this control line here is a key level Level of liquidity that if we can maintain trading above this level right here, we will almost certainly head to the upside. When looking at Bitcoin's price on the daily chart right now, as I've pointed out in the past, we have basically a very significant decline in liquidity as soon as the price of Bitcoin starts heading to the upside. If I zoom all the way out on this chart right here, you're able to see basically we have a massive gap in liquidity right here, meaning that essentially Bitcoin's price should, if we do break out above this range, should head up to this next range here, and that range is sitting about $28,000, $29,000, meaning we should have a fairly significant bump up in the price of Bitcoin, which is fantastic news. It's something that we've not experienced in a very long time. So how am I trading this right now? What am I looking at in terms of my current open trades? Well, there are quite a few that I've got open right now. I've got a phantom position open here that I showed you in yesterday's video. However, I increased the size of it to $84,000 and I have lost a fair bit of profit on that because it brought up my average entry and the price of phantom has gone down today, which is a bit unfortunate. However, Algorand has not gone down today. That trade is currently $3,000 in a profit. One of the new trades that I took today was a long position on Bluezell. Bluezell is currently $27 in a profit, so really quite insignificant. BNB again has returned pretty much to neutral with a $9 profit. My Bitcoin trade here is currently trading at about $10,000 of profit. And then we have a tiny little Bitcoin short that's I opened by accident. I'm still not closed. And then we have a link position and a UNFI position, both of which are in profit and both of which, or rather, the UNFI is the new one. And I entered UNFI just to let you know, 575. Why have I opened positions on Bluezell and YFI? Uh, not YFI, UNFI. Basically, I follow this guy on Twitter called uh, Bull BNB. And he's pretty good at calling it, to be honest. There's really no other reason than I have opened those trades other than that guy seems to be pretty good at calling it. So respect. I mean, he's doing pretty well for himself. So yeah, go check out his profile on Twitter, Bull BNB. Um, but essentially, yeah, that's the reason I opened those two trades today. And he was correct on those ones. So credit where credit is due. Thank you very much for the trades. Again, I, I, I watch other people's content as well sometimes. And uh, again, if I do take a recommendation from somebody else, I will always let you know. And those are two good recommendations. So thank you very much for that. Now, back to the price. Of course, I'm in lots of long positions right now, but the price of Bitcoin, I guess, looks slightly more on edge than it has done previously. So let's look at the downside because we are going to get a big move and it is going to be a big move when it comes. It'll either be a big old swash to the downside or a massive pump to the upside. Now, given that we're currently in this bull flag, I favor the upside. But at what level is my theory invalidated and we start heading to the downside? Well, I would say currently what you're basically looking for 
is a break below this level of support here. This level of support is sitting at $22,600. If the price of Bitcoin starts trading below $22,600, I probably won't close my positions, but I might start averaging out of some of them because um, some of the altcoin positions at that point could be maybe slightly underwater or getting close to being underwater. And ultimately, I'm not holding into a loss. At the same time, I'm just bringing this up because, again, you don't know until it happens. At the same time, I think the market is going to go bullish and we're going to get another leg to the upside. Hence why I want to leave my positions open right now. So that would be the downside level of which we need to break below, which would be about $22,600. The official downside level, which we would plot from here, uh, official kind of failure level would sit somewhere around here at approximately $22,200. So between $22,600 and $22,200, I'm still bullish, where the second that we lose $22,200, we will drop because we have basically a big glut in liquidity in this zone right here. And then we'll return trading to around $21,400, $21,300. So just bear that in mind. If we do start dropping to the downside, it could be a fairly ferocious drop of around one to one and a half thousand dollars. However, again, I still favor the upside on the price of Bitcoin right now. And I am ultimately very, very bullish on, on the crypto markets overall. I'm heavily investing in the altcoin space again. And I think a lot of other people are heavily investing with me. So speaking of altcoins, we need to discuss one altcoin in particular. And that altcoin is Tap Global, of which today has risen in price again, currently trading at 76 Satoshis. And the order book's looking a little bit thin on the sell side, especially near the start of it. So I think today, a realistic target for TAP would be approximately around 80 Satoshis by the end of today. I hoped it would get over 90. It's struggling because basically liquidity on the sell side has been a little bit heavier. However, at the same time, liquidity on the buy side has been quite heavy as well. And I also know that uh, essentially there, there is more things in the pipeline coming with TAP. But the exciting news today, if you've not already seen it, please do click on the link above my head right now. And uh, you'll be able to watch my video that I posted earlier today on my main channel about why I maintain my bullishness on TAP and why uh, basically there's been a massive business change, a business to business business change that should mean that TAP makes significantly more profits over the course of the next year than without this deal. And that ultimately contribute heavily towards a token burn on the TAP. Uh, and essentially that should in theory inflate the price of TAP. So that that's ultimately why I maintain my bullishness on the price of TAP right now. And if you don't hold TAP, go and have a look at it. You'll find a link for it in today's video description. However, I also said today we were going to discuss Ethereum. Currently, Ethereum is doing very similar to Bitcoin. It is bull penanting outwards. Uh, and Ethereum has slightly higher levels of resistance being that, man, I'm saying that, it's not really. It's $1,780. We break through $1,780, which will be the top of this pennant. We come up to this purple line right here. This purple line is an old level of resistance that essentially we should come back up and revisit fairly soon. Um, but zooming out on Ethereum, Ethereum might struggle a little bit more than Bitcoin being its slightly higher liquidity. Having said that, uh, the official breakout zone on Ethereum would be around around $1,800 breakout would take us all the way up into the mid $2,000 range. It would be a very significant pump up as and when it does come. At the same time, the other thing we need to be looking at today would be the DXY because the DXY is on another down day. This is ultimately very good for Bitcoin when the DXY is declining in price. It's what we want to see. We don't want to see the DXY going up. We want to see it going down because that means speculative investments and things like cryptocurrencies, things like gold. It means that they're rising in value if the US dollar is falling in value. It also means the stock market is likely rising because people would rather have money in stocks than they would have money in cash. When this chart is rising, it means that there is more people flooding into cash. And when this chart is falling, it means there is more people flooding into alternative asset classes. Hence why I'm pretty bullish right now on the price of Bitcoin, because this is a really bearish chart. And if we lose this long-term level of support right here, then we drop very significantly to the downside and the bull market officially begins for Bitcoin. I don't really expect a mega bull market right at the very start of this year. It seems a a little bit unrealistic, but at the same time, I still expect to get $28,000 at a bare minimum. And then maybe some consolidation between $24,000 and $28,000 after that point. However, it's also Bitcoin. So things can get really crazy really quickly and the prices can go completely batty overnight. So never say never. This is crypto and prices do change uh, on a very frequent basis. So slap a like on today's video. Now, got a couple more things left to discuss in today's video. The first one would be looking at the price of Phantom. Phantom 
Phantom's price decline. This is the daily chart for Phantom. And I think that Phantom, to be honest, is having a pretty good entry right now. All day, the price of Phantom has been in decline, but we currently touched the bottom of the VWAP. So I've increased the size of my Phantom position and I expect a bounce up tomorrow back up to at least 42 cents. And if that is the case, that will be around a 7 to 8% rise in price. And with 10x leverage, that's 70 to 80% profit. By the way, guys, of course, if you are interested in trading, please do check out Bybit. You'll find a link for it in today's video description. Fantastic, fantastic exchange. Been using it for years. Uh, well worthwhile checking out. And of course, you get a deposit bonus if you make a deposit on the link in today's video description. So definitely do check that out. I'm currently long on Phantom. Again, just to quickly review my positions before the end of today's video, long on Phantom, long on Algorand, long on Bluezell, long on BNB, long on Bitcoin, long on Chainlink, and long on UNFI. Uh, again, thank you a bit much, uh, Bull BNB, for, for the trades on UNFI and Bluezell. I appreciate it. It's been a long time, actually. I think BLZ is Bluezell. A Bluezell is one from 2017 that was a complete flop. But yeah, good to see anyway. Thank you very much for the trades. I do appreciate it. Uh, again, if you are uh, appreciative of the content and stuff like that, please do slap a like on today's video. But I think it's about time to wrap things up for the day. I think we might get that breakout tonight. So just don't go to sleep. Uh, stay up all night. Don't sleep at all. And just wait and see if Bitcoin's price breaks $23,300. If we just look briefly back at the chart before I do wrap things up, all I want to show you is this right here which will be the level of resistance of which we need to break. Currently sat actually at $23,110. We break that level right there. We go up very quickly and uh, the entire cryptocurrency market goes very bullish. Again, I maintain my bullishness on top. I think the top realistically today can get to 80. Maybe it gets to 90 tomorrow. I don't expect this kind of price action is going to slow down though, because of course I am expecting a break of 100 Satoshis this month. So on that note, guys, thank you all very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please do slap a like on it. Don't forget. And uh, of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching and uh, goodbye.